In today's lesson, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at Physical Material 2D. And if we go ahead, I'm gonna click on this platform, the collider that's attached to all of these. And we take a look here, we notice that all the colliders, at least the 2D ones, take a Physical Material 2D. Let's go ahead and create one. So I'm gonna come down into my project window, just right click, go to Create, come down to Physical Material 2D. Let's click it, and of course we can name it. I'm just gonna call mine Demo Mat. And I'll throw a 2D in there just so I know what it is. And to quickly click off of it, take note of the, the icon for it. If you have a lot of things in your asset folder, you might lose it. But at least the asset folder is still sorted alphabetically. So I'm going to go ahead and come up to our platform, which is platform 2. And I'm just going to go ahead and drag and drop that on. And of course, there's a few ways we do it. We can drag, drop it on here. Uh, we can come up and drag it, drop right there. We can drop it anywhere really in here. And it's going to go ahead and apply it. I usually like to drop it right where I want it, but we've got it assigned. Let's actually take a look at it just a bit more. There's really only two things you can adjust here, and that's the friction and the bounciness. And we've looked at these properties before. The friction is how sticky things are. So when two things are touching, how easy is it for them to slide against each other? And bounciness, well, it's just what it sounds like. If I were to go ahead and drop this crate on here and I increase the bounciness, it's going to bounce. So let's go ahead and we'll test out the bounciness first. So I'm going to go ahead. Let's just do a one and I'll put the friction down to zero. It's not really going to matter because we're not sliding anything. And let's go ahead and drop the crate on here. So I'll hit play. And we notice now it bounces. If we were to go ahead and have it at zero, hit play, it doesn't bounce. And of course you can get really crazy. Uh, let's do five. And away it goes. <laughs> and welcome back. We zoom back out. Here it comes. Bam! And away it goes again. <laughs> Fun times are bound to happen. So let's zoom in and take a look at friction. So I'm going to go ahead and take bouncy down to zero. Let's take friction up to 10. And let's do a little bit of rotating here. I'm going to take my platform, put it at 45. I'm going to go ahead. Uh, let's move the platform out as well. Into the water. I take my crate, rotate it at 45 as well. Let's bring it in. And because it's on an angle and I'm not pressing the freeze rotation on Z, if I went ahead and started, it probably, well, it's not going to roll. Maybe I, I needed a bit more of an angle to it. There we go. We just needed a little bit of momentum. There we go. What we expected, if we go ahead and freeze it, now I'll move it out a bit, let it drop. Boom. Super sticky. Let's go ahead and change this to a zero. And restart it. Well, we don't have to restart. We can just move it. Oh, it looks like we do have to restart it for it to take effect. So now we'll go ahead and we'll start it with it at zero. And there we go. And we'll check just to make sure. There we go. And let's try something in between. Let's do a two. And gravity is still strong enough to pull it down, but because of the friction, it slows it down. Now, of course, you can start combining these and get some really fun things happening. Let's try a 10 bouncy, uh, friction 2. Uh, let's let it rotate. So slow, slowly slide, but it should roll. And it's going to bounce. Let's see if we can actually bounce it up here. Uh, we need a little bit more friction than that. So I'm going to go ahead and crank it to, let's just do 10. Let's just make it super sticky. So the only way it can move is to bounce. I'm going to take it, lift it up a bit and just drop. Whoops. <laughs> 10 was apparently too much. <laughs> Guess who's going to have way too much fun for the next hour. Let's see what we can bounce a crate into. There we go. Did I forget to un... I did, I did not freeze the rotation. I guess because of the stickiness, what's my sticky at? I expected some rotation there. I forgot my friction to 10. But anyway, you get the idea of how these work, right? You want things not to slide? You can go ahead and let's say we wanted to make this ice cover. Go ahead, decrease the friction. Your player's going to have a hard time running on it. Maybe you want it to be a, a space or some sort of moon landing type thing. And of course, now he's going to bounce on it. Uh, let's actually go ahead, put it down to zero. Watch my character. We've got to 
show the character balancing on it. Boy, so you can still go up, but he does slide down for the gravity. And he's not bouncing that well on it. Uh, let's go ahead and increase the bouncing. But I'm just going to be sitting here playing around with this for quite some time now. <laughs> the video's over. I should, I should learn to when to turn it off. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, everyone. And uh, I guess I'll see you in the next video. Now, for those that are in the class, you will be using these physical material 2Ds for this week's project. I at least want to see a couple of them used. And for everyone else on the internet, I'll just see you in the next video. Bye-bye. So if you like the video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. It really does help me out here on YouTube. And go ahead and follow me on Twitter. You're a pretty chatty guy over there. When I'm not walking through a forest. Or being stalked by eagles. And falcons. Lions, tigers, and bears. <laughs>